Hello, 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 bra, and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week, bro. Okay, no. Just no. That was my thought when I saw the trailer for this remake of Point Break, which is a beloved action movie from 1991. Uh, I'll say action movie classic. I'm not afraid. Starring Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. Just no. Like that old song. No, 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 no. Don't make this movie. Don't do it. Bad idea, people. Nobody asked for this, nobody was excited for this, and they spent 100 million dollars on it! If you want some sort of visual metaphor for how foolish this endeavor was, the Point Break remake has got you covered with this handy visual aid. So much money wasted. But leaving the original out of the conversation entirely, Point Break is still just a bad movie. An empty, convoluted mess that occasionally features some interesting action 3D photography but doesn't have a brain in its head and really isn't interested in stringing its action scenes together with relatable characters or a coherent plot. It was a bad idea from the start and it's executed just as badly. That's all you get for a capsule review. Let's just get in depth and get out of here and go surfing or something. The original Point Break featured an interesting high concept. If you haven't seen it, try this on for size. Working on the theory that a group of bank robbers are actually surfers stealing a fortune to finance their endless summer, a green FBI agent named Johnny Utah learns to surf and goes undercover to infiltrate the surfer scene in the process befriending an enigmatic adrenaline junkie named Bodie. Over the course of the movie, he begins to suspect that his new surfer buddies may indeed be the very bank robbers he's looking for. And his new friendship may have put both his investigation and his very life on the line. Yeah, listen to that pitch. It's clean, exciting, so simple. Hell, it's already been remade once already. With a, uh, a modicum of success, I'd say. So now we have the remake, and here's the pitch for the remake. So there's this guy who already knows how to surf, and mountain climb, and ride his bike across high mountains, and skydive, and snowboard. He's an extreme athlete. And he joins the FBI, you know, just because. And he discovers a group of criminals who are also extreme athletes, trying to complete a hazily defined and seriously open to interpretation, completely invented and arbitrary list of tasks called the uh, Ozaki 8. I don't know why they're committing the crime, sir, but I have an idea what they're chasing. I think they're attempting something called the Ozaki 8. Oh, and they also commit crimes, which is why they're being hunted by the FBI in the first place. They don't commit crimes because they need the money. Nope, they're sponsored by some rich guy who keeps throwing awesome parties. The Buddha's his, Al Farik. He sponsors us. Sponsors you to what? To be the first to achieve the impossible. They commit crimes because uh, they're like environmental warriors or some such stuff, so they have to. Uh, uh... Bodhi doesn't see these as crimes, he thinks of them as offerings. These guys are trying to complete the Ozaki 8. They see that as a gift given to them from the earth. To balance out that gift, they want to give back something that was taken from the earth. What the hell does that even mean? Okay, you got all that? Well, forget it, because it's certainly not important. The simple nature of the original plot has now become more complicated for no reason. The bromance between Utah and Bodie is non-existent here, and the FBI pops in only occasionally to remind you that Utah is actually, you know, a federal agent. Criminal masterminds, they're just kids partying away their lives and they'll freak's time. The difference between them and you is you're doing it on the FBI's. The only saving grace is that the action scenes are actually visually interesting, if only occasionally exciting, and never earned by the plot. I will sum up the movie's faults with this one example. The original Point Break had a scene where Johnny Utah chases Bodie out of a plane at 10,000 feet. Utah's got a gun, Bodie has a parachute. The pursuit between lawman and criminal occurs in midair, and the stakes couldn't be higher. In this movie, 
Utah figures out that Bodhi is going to attempt to climb a particular mountain in Venezuela. When he actually shows his work to his superiors to explain why, it's so ridiculous that his boss kind of just has to shrug along with the audience like, Okay, if you say so, uh, why don't you just book your plane ticket and I hope it works out. Anyway, Bodhi does indeed show up at the bottom of this impossibly deadly cliff face, and Johnny Utah comes running up to apprehend him. Alone. You know, like you do. And Utah actually yells, You got nowhere to go! Oh, I've got nowhere to go? Oh yeah? I'll tell you what, dummy, I got one place I can go. How about up this deadly cliff face, which is the very reason why I'm even here, idiot. And so, of course, Bodhi starts to climb. And, of course, Johnny Utah has to follow him. Maybe he couldn't have had some agents stationed at the top of the cliff because I don't know why and who cares, but Johnny Utah came alone. And he brought his climbing little toe shoes and his belt with a resin bag attached to it just in case he had to do some climbing. Pretty convenient. And he brought this stuff with him again to apprehend a dangerous criminal. And I'll admit, the chase sequence up this cliff is fun to watch and it's well shot and exciting, especially in 3D. But the movie should definitely have come up with some better, more understandable reason for it to have occurred in the first place. I give Point Break a small bag of popcorn for the pretty visuals and for nothing else. Edgar Martinez is no Patrick Swayze. Luke Bracey is no Keanu Reeves, and this, sir, this is no point break. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget, you can follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And if you like what you saw, be sure to click the thumbs up icon, and always remember, you can subscribe to this channel. It helps us to bring you more great content, and you'll never miss one of our reviews. So please, click right down there to view our channel, and click subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I 